Okay, what I want to do here is take a quick comparison test of uh, two different types of chlorine tests. This one is the Taylor DPD chlorine comparator. It's the 2000 series comparator. And over here, I'm going to do a FAS DPD uh, titration test. I've been having trouble coming out with the same reading on both. I'm reading a lower chlorine reading on the DPD than I am the FAS DPD. So I'm going to walk you through the steps and uh, I'm looking for feedback and a critique on where I may go wrong. So I have my pool water sample here. So first we're going to uh, we're going to fill up the DPD comparator to the appropriate level. That's a little bit high. Get some out. Okay, so that's at the proper level now. So for that test, first we take Taylor reagent R0001, and we're going to add five drops of that. I hold the uh, vial completely vertical here and slowly drip it out. One, two, three, four, five, just allowing the drops to fall off of the tip. Next, we do five drops of the R0002. Same way, nice and slow, just let them fall off the tip. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to cap that, give it a little tilt over and stir. And we're going to compare that result. Now I'm looking at that. Get the camera close here. And I'm probably reading that as a three parts per million. It's not quite five. It's certainly not two. Two is too light. I'd say it's a pretty close match to three parts per million. We'll leave that there. Now I could go further with that test and, that, and test for total chlorine. What this reading is, is the free chlorine. But I want to keep that color as is while we work on the, uh, the next test. Okay, so that we're going to fill to the 25 millimeter mark. A dot more. Now this gets the little magnetic pill, and we get that stirring. Now next, what I'm adding is the um, the indicator powder, which is the R0870. We add two scoops of this. One. They say two heaping scoops. That's what I'm considering a heaping scoop right there. Two. It shows pink, which means chlorine is present. Next, we'll add the titrating reagent, which is the R0871. And we count the drops. And then, then there's a formula to figure out the free chlorine in parts per million. Now, one thing with this vial, it's kind of brand new uh, so I just got it last week so it's pretty uh, pretty full when I tip it over for the first time some of the agent wants to rush out right away so I don't start dripping right away I just I tilt it over and I let a couple drops fall on their own I know I'm wasting reagent okay good now they're not falling anymore I'll let one more go okay now I have control of the drops so we're gonna count until this turns clear Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 
20, just gently letting them fall off the tip. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, still pink, 27, I'd say 27 looks pretty clear. So the formula now is 20% of 27 or 27 times 0.2. So that would give me a reading, I'm doing this in my head. 14, 5.4. This is the problem I'm coming out with here. I'm getting a higher reading, almost double the amount than I am on here. So I'm getting a 5.4 reading here. Again, it was 27 drops times 0.2. That's a 5.4 parts per million. And here, I'm reading a three. Now, if there's any doubt if that's a three, we're gonna get this in a little bit different lighting. So we have it here on the white background. You can see where I'm reading a three. Let's, let's hold it up against the background of the White House. If anything, that looks even lower, maybe more like a two. But we'll still call it a three. Let's see if I can find a white cloud in the sky. That's a little hard to do. I'm trying to. It's a little tough with the blue sky. If I had a, if I had a white cloud, sometimes I get a good reading. But again, there's a couple different ways you're seeing that. And like I said, I mean, I'm reading that a little bit, a little bit lighter, as a two, possibly a three. Either way, we get the point that I'm clearly doing something wrong. So leave a comment if you saw anything in my uh, testing methods that, that I'm doing wrong. Um, my R001 and my R002 are genuine Taylor reagents that I bought uh, last year, beginning of the season last year possibly, so at most they're 15 months old. Uh, the FAS test that I got was just last week. Uh, it's all fresh reagents. I'm just going to go one step further here on the FAS test and add five drops of 003 and test for uh, combined chloramines. One, two, three, four, five. If it turned back to pink, that would be a problem. That would mean I'd have combined chloramines. I do not, so I'm, I'm fine there. But again, that's not really the purpose of this uh, this video that I'm making. It's just to see if uh, someone could give me some proper critique of why I am coming out with two different readings here. Which one am I doing wrong, the DPD or the FAS? Thanks for watching. Leave comments. Bye-bye.